Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it, Libra. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you in love, Libra. What's the love messages? What are the love messages for Libra? Love messages for Libra. All right, first card out, the tower. Dun, 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 dun. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. All of a sudden, sudden upheaval. And it comes from something that has historical value. So you've been here for, you had history with this issue, with this thing, with this event, with this conversation. So it's, it's historical. Um, or maybe you, if, if you haven't been in this place with this particular person, then you've been in it with another person. So it's like almost history repeating itself. Let's see what else is going on for Libra. Yeah, the King of Cups, definitely. Some of you could be dealing with uh, Scorpio here. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but Scorpio is highlighted. Somebody's in real, you know, really controlled in terms of their uh, emotions. Or this could be an emotional outburst or all of a sudden there's upheaval in terms of someone's emotions. Somebody gets emotional about um, maybe business matters, the business matters of the home or the relationship. The six of swords yeah maybe about um moving on or moving together or reconciling somebody is being too practical too logical somebody wants to have a conversation again i'm getting again about uh this is money business matters um this could even be about with the six of swords here eight of pentacles i knew it was about money somebody doing something over and over again also i don't know if it's okay losing a job or not working or walking off or not being dependable um not being prudent with their money watching where it goes um uh, not being able to you know just to put their head down and continue going so maybe you're dealing with somebody who you something about business matters in the home money not being able to work hard, to overwork, to be um, a workaholic so they can get out of debt or get out of, you know, bondage here in terms of the eight of pentacles. They're not dedicated to uh, financial freedom. Yeah, two of pentacles, um, something that's always up in the air or there's always some decision to be made or um, somebody's work ethic is being questioned or, or it is, you know, yeah, it is being questioned. Uh, it's up for deliberation. Um, somebody acts like they're going to do better or they're going to bring in more money. Somebody even could be saying, you need to get a second job. Then you need to get something where there's more income. The two of pentacles talks about maybe even doing two things at the same time. Um, it talks about maybe getting a rhythm to life. The, either you need to do this or somebody else needs to do this. You, may, you have had this conversation, this explosive conversation about your business matters, about maybe you wanting to move or you wanting to sell and you're just trying to make sure that somebody has their finances or their financial house together. Yeah, that they're stable. Because you're going after what you want. Somebody can feel, you just don't want anyone to feel blindsided or devastated with the Ten of Swords or this is what you don't want to feel. You don't want to feel like you are without help or you don't want the the conversation to turn volatile let's see um so in the love relationship it looks like a, a lot of there's a lot of money issues there um and a lot of turbulence and volatility within the connection because of somebody's lack of stability all right, so let's see what's going on in terms of career and finance for the Libra. Career and finance for Libra. Three of Cups, so cause to celebrate. Maybe you're hearing good news or um, this could be success, success, victory, triumph. Something you've been putting your time, your energy behind. It looks like, yeah, the Sun card. This could be home. This could be marriage. This could be getting married. This could be having a baby, making an announcement, maybe to friends and family. Um, this could be uh, maybe even to your colleagues telling them that you're pregnant. 
This could be getting a job, okay? Um, getting the offer, accepting the offer, and then uh, celebrating. This could be a new way of earning income here. With the Sun card, it says that you, the, the universe is shining down on you, putting things in order so that you can move forward. Very nice. You're on the right path here. Career finance. Yeah, magician and the two of pentacles. So some of you have manifested this new contract, this new partnership, this money that comes in to you. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to wait too long. You don't want to regret something. So you're moving fast, taking matters into your own hands, maybe even channeling what you need to do next in your career and finance. Some of you could be in some capacity of, a, I don't know, psychic tarot card reader. You're looking at some offer. You're not sure if you should take it yet because it encompasses other people or it involves other people in terms of your career and finance. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you, Libra. Thank you for tuning in. Um, do know that you can get your own personal reading just like this one over at the website. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You could donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. You could catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. You can also, uh, contribute to the new moon money jar. Tonight is the new moon. And if you're trying to usher in new contracts, new money, different manifestations in terms of your career and your finances, then you could contribute any amount to uh, the new moon money jar. Your name will be placed in the jar and we'll say a collective new moon prayer to usher in abundance for all of us. The prayer will happen uh, for the next three nights. Uh, take advantage if you're feeling moved to. If you want to ha have your manifestations supercharged, then you could donate to the money jar. Okay, you could donate to the new moon money jar. And the link is below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.